Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another map by map completionist guide here on Borderlands 2. This is part 4 today, we're going to be covering Frostburn Canyon. For those of you that don't know this series, it is basically a run through of the uh, maps of Borderlands 2 where I will show you the best route to take in order to pick up every single chest like ultimate farming routes but also including badass rank challenges we're basically going to be covering every single part of the map and showing you guys all that you need to know so that was an overview of the map right there we're going to have take a quick look at the challenges we need to pick up on the way as well uh, so we'll scroll right down to them there i should, probably should have done this a bit quicker but uh, didn't realize we've got so many uh, but there is frostburn canyon so we've got praise be to scorch kill scorch without damaging his minions easier said than done for sure burning sensation we've got to find incinerator clayton's three chronicles uh, caught with the vault two vault symbols and then pick up 10 hanging totems now i had the flame of the firehawk on while running through this map preparing for this so uh, i already ignited three totems by accident but i'll show you everything uh, once again so starting off right from spawn there are two vending machines there's an ammo vendor and a health vendor check them because you never know when there's going to be some good shields grenades things like that after that run towards uh, this part of the map right here and our first hanging totem is here make sure you've got a fire weapon for this map because you are going to need one i have got the hellfire which of course will show uh, where it drops later so there is the first hanging totem now just come up to these stairs if you want to be careful and not spawn the uh, enemies or get killed by them the second totem is right here right above the entrance to this cave on the right hand side which will enter very soon but first we're going to head to the left up at the top part of this map and uh, kill this guy because he will screw us if not jump on top of this little wooden building there is your first chest of the map right here unfortunately it's only a white chest so it's going to have rubbish gear in it after that jump down and head to this shack where you can climb up the ladders because we've got another chest to pick up right here as well so there we go another white chest unfortunately but hey pick them up grab them sell them to the vending machines get yourself some money after that we're going to head into the cave where the, uh, the second totem was and uh, head to the left hand side up this little secretish passage right at the top uh, if you turn just to the left at the very top of this thing you'll see your first of two vault symbols right here carry on running along and there's our third white chest of this area as well hanging up on here again grab them if you want sell them make yourself some money that kind of thing after that we're going to run all the way through this cave and just keep going uh, straight on uh, you can go to the left but we're going to pick up something down there later but uh, on the left hand side come down here i get stuck here just go round uh, this is the first of three of uh, incinerator Cl clayton's chronicles echo log so that is number one of three just there after that, keep progressing all the way towards uh, in where you actually get Incinerator Clayton. We're going to run this little route. Just here, there is another hanging totem right there. That is number three. Again, I've already activated that by accident with the Flame of the Firehawk. But uh, hey, I'll show you all ten of them anyway. After that, just keep running along to the bridge where the, the two Ultimate Badass Lunatics spawn. I actually got this, uh, missed this one in the original, so I'm just cutting it in right now. Uh, this will show ten of ten challenge completed, but it's because I missed it by accident. I do apologise. But we're going to continue to run right now uh, so keep running all the way along here after you've killed the two ultimate badass lunatics and just make your way straight down here there are two more totems up at the top of this part of the map the first one is right here just to uh, the right hand side of where you can go to get all these spider ants on the left to spawn and then just after that there is another one right there so uh, pick them up kill all the enemies in the area as well i am rushing through this but uh, this part here you probably want to kill the enemies because there's a chest up here and you're going to need to grenade or rocket jump up to get there so just climb on this part right here drop a grenade down make sure you unequip your grenade mod and uh, just do a little simple rocket jump right there and uh, again just position yourself right here do another uh, grenade jump or a rocket jump with a bada boom and a sham shield and get yourself up for your first of the red chests of this map so open them up and then drop down stay on the higher parts to the left hand side and run along here turn left be careful here because if there's anyone behind you they can knock you off the cliff but there is another white chest to pick up just there and I actually got a purple shield from that which i'm quite impressed with because they normally contain just greens and if you're very lucky blues it's very very easy uh, actual purples in there anyway as you drop down on the left hand side there is the uh, totem that you need to pick up as well and then incinerator clayton should 
spawn if you've already done the uh, the firehawk mission for him so kill him he will of course drop the pyrophobia um, which we'll show you in a minute uh, but pick up this chest right here as well so um, this is incinerator clayton me killing him and getting the pyrophobia the legendary rocket launcher that's the first three legendaries you can get on this map so uh, go ahead and pick that up and uh, get yourself one i do recommend it it's a very good launcher very early playthroughs um, so uh, definitely pick that up anyway just for the uh, entrance of this cave right here there is the final of this eight totems in this area there are two more left to get but uh, i'll show you them later part of the map uh, so enter the cave turn to the right hand side and jump down you'll see there's a vault symbol right here that is two of two vault symbols now so that is that challenge completed climb back up the ladders and run all the way around through this cave now you can skip this part because the only thing in this actual cave where we're heading through where we actually first met lilith in the storyline is these vending machines which are coming up on the left hand side right here so you can stock up um, on ammo get a new shield or sell your stuff and clear your inventory get yourself some money and then carry on now you can actually skip this whole part if you don't want to come all the way around here just for the vending machines it's quite tricky but i will show you um where you drop down to get the uh, the vault symbol previously uh, you can come out right here with a series of grenade or rocket jumps if you uh, practice it well so that's where we drop down for the vault symbol right there and before we run all the way around here um, you can actually just jump onto this cliff right here grenade or rocket jump up and grenade or rocket jump up to here that will save you a lot of time but it can be quite tricky um, so uh, make sure you practice it if you want to try that skip uh, and save yourself some time anyway after that just make your way to the top of the hill this is the very last part of this first part of the map there is a red chest greeting you right up here so uh, you can pick up that and hopefully get yourself some good stuff drop down and you will be back at spawn so it's kind of like a figure eight style map this anyway we're going to come all the way down here and then uh, on the right hand side there is the ninth totem hanging totem to burn so go ahead and make sure you burn that there are enemies around here but you can just skip them by coming down here um so uh, yeah nine totems we'll get the tenth in a minute drop down here and make your way to scorch now you're going to need to kill scorch without damaging any of his minions this can be quite tricky and i do not do it on this attempt uh, but i will come back at the end and show you uh, me actually completing this challenge basically those little guys that come out right there uh, are his minions so you can't damage them at all scorch is obviously quite tough so if you want to if you can't actually do this come back at a later level a higher level and it will be a lot easier scorch drops a legendary smg called the hellfire it's a fire smg it really is a very very good weapon i do recommend farming him until you actually get it so there is me killing scorch and getting the hellfire anyway carrying on the run uh, i might pick that up actually because it's a very good weapon to have let's take that right now um, but yeah the hellfire is a very good smg so do try and get yourself one it will help you for later playthroughs anyway carrying on with the run we're going to run to the right hand side and enter this cave now this is the uh, going back to the very early part uh, of the run but um, we're just going to look for this puddle on the right hand side there is a free weapon here every time you spawn in this weapon will be here it's a lasso um, it's a unique red text smg uh, and you can pick them up as many times as you want but uh, definitely make sure you keep picking them up even if it's just to sell to the vendor anyway come back on yourself back to where scorch is and head towards this higher part of the map underneath this platform to get you to the higher part of the map there is a chest to pick up a rubbish white chest make your way up to all of these stairs this will be quite difficult if you're trying to speed run it like me because uh, there's a lot of enemies up here now as you come up here there is your final totem right there so if you get that that will say 10 out of 10 challenge completed for the 10 fire totems anyway make your way up here now as you get up here there will be a boss very later on in the game that you can get you can't get this early on so i will cut to this in a minute but he's called psycho you need to get to the arid boneyard to actually get this uh, challenge to spawn him in uh, and it's a uh, i think it's a hammerlock or no it's a z mission dr z mission uh, but it's called psycho so i've actually just for the point of this video showing you guys me spawning him in at overpower a he's a spider and and he will drop the neogenator shield which we also get to drop right here for you guys so there is the neogenator shield it's a, uh, a pretty decent shield actually so make sure you pick it up and uh, yeah we'll carry on with the run back to normal playthrough one uh, but there is the neogenator overview just so you can actually see it. it's actually an elemental resistant shield uh, anyway after that you can see that there's a force field in this little hut right here we need to get that down to get to a red chest 
you can follow the wires all the way down here but basically you've just got to get to that shack over there and turn a switch uh, but there's also another uh, insinuator clayton chronicle to pick up as well uh, as a chest so we'll get that chest first another rubbish white chest but pick it up anyway like i've said for all the chests so far uh, kill this guy and on the left hand side you can see there is uh, the second of three lost echoes from Incinerator Clayton there's the fuse box to turn it off and we're going to make our way back to that hut now so we can get the uh, the chest that was behind the force field in it um, and you'll see that there's loads of enemies around here but you can just sneak in if you don't want to kill them uh, they'll probably be fighting other people anyway uh, so yeah pick up that chest head all the way uh, past where Psycho spawned to the left hand side and we're going to make our way to the edge of this cliff where there's like a hut on the edge of the cliff because the third of the uh, three incinerator clades and echoes is sat right here on top of these little loot lockers um, so that is uh, another challenge completed that is all the baddest rank challenges complete now and indeed nearly the end of the uh, map there's just one more thing to do and that's head back towards the top uh, part of spawn uh, where you actually spawn in there is a red chest sat right here which of course you could speed farm with a good rocket jumping setup and get yourself some easy chest opens uh, but yeah there you go that is it that is the final part of the map that is everything you need to know about frostburn canyon so i'm going to cut you right now just to me uh, actually killing um, scorch without uh, damaging any of his minions just so you can see that I've completed that challenge right there so the best thing to do is just to sit back try not to uh, actually um, hit anything and it's not just the uh, the fire mini spider ants I would just try not to hit anything at all now like I said scorch is quite tough you don't want to bring anything with splash damage or anything multi elements multi projectiles things like that just get yourself a nice basic bod stack but standard gun sit back and just aim for his back end every time he turns on you just chip away at him a little bit he is obviously heavily armored at the front being a spider ant so you've just got to be patient bide your time and just make sure you don't shoot while there's anyone near him now i'm actually picked up a non-elemental infinity as you can see right there and there is the challenge complete i managed to kill him without damaging any of his minions at all uh, and now i'm going to kill them all because uh, once the challenge is done you can do whatever you like to them wow so there you go guys i can breathe a little bit now it's really hard actually talking through everything trying to get through everything so quickly luckily i'm good at gabbing away so uh, it's pretty easy to do that but uh, you'll see right now we're going to go to the challenges and just confirm that we have completed them all there you go praise be to scorch burning sensation cult of the vault and totems of fire all complete we've picked up a good couple of red chests in this area three legendary weapons from three different enemies uh, and plenty of other trash loot and things like that to get yourself some money and uh, that is it that is a whole run of the map frostburn canyon on map by map completion this guy that is part four loving this series hopefully uh, you guys are too i'll get a lot of good comments about this so uh, yeah it obviously shows that people do like these things and uh, it's just a good way to get yourself uh, all the uh, badass rank you need as well as some good looting and some good weapons so that was part four of map by map completion this guy complete run of frostburn canyon thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one